Hey everybody, this is Mr. Marshall and I'm here at Stony Lane. Um, I want to talk to you about words, okay? Because um, there's a game that you can play to help you learn more about words and it's called Which One Doesn't Belong? And there, sometimes you can play Which One Doesn't Belong um, with math, but you can also play it with words and it can help you learn more about the spelling. So the way that the game goes is you would get words and I happen to have four words here and you can play this with three words or four words or as many words as you want not too many but um, so I have four words on here I have the word penguin zebra piano and porcupine okay which one doesn't belong so the, th the fun thing about which one doesn't belong is there's definitely more than one right answer okay in fact this one has at least five Okay, so let me show you how to play. When you play which one doesn't belong, there's three strategies on how you can figure out which one doesn't belong. Okay, one, one strategy is to think about the way the words are spelled. Look at the letters inside the words. So let's take a look. So, like I'm looking at this list, penguin starts with a P, piano starts with a P, porcupine starts with a P, Zebra does not. Zebra does not belong because it doesn't start with P. The others all start with P. Okay? I can also look at the last letter of the word. Okay? Like I can see um, penguin starts with N. Piano starts with O. Porcupine starts with E. And zebra starts with A. You know what I'm noticing there? I'm noticing that the O and the E and the A, those are all vowels. The N is a consonant, right? So penguin doesn't belong because it ends in a consonant, not a vowel. Okay, so that's one rule. One rule or one strategy for this game is to think about the letters in the word and the way the words are spelled. Okay, let's see. Another strategy is to think about um, the way that the word, um, what the word means. Okay, what the word means. So let's take a look. So I see that, here we go, a penguin is a kind of bird, right? It's, it's a, that's a type of animal. And a zebra is a type of animal. And a porcupine is a type of animal. Is a piano a type of animal? No, it's not. Okay, so piano doesn't belong because it's not an animal. Okay, I figured out the rule. Okay, what else can I think about what these words mean? Or the way these words um, like what they mean, what those things look like. Let's see. So I'm going to try and talk about what these things look like. Penguin is a bird that lives in cold places and it has feathers that are black and white. Okay, so I'm going to think, is that true about anything else? Is a zebra a bird? It's not a bird. Um, does it live in cold places? No, it doesn't live in cold places. Is it black and white? Yeah, it's black and white, okay? Is that true about a piano too? Is a piano black and white? Yes, it is. The keys are definitely black and white. And sometimes the whole piano itself is black and white, okay? Porcupine, is that black and white? No. So porcupine doesn't belong because it's not black and white, okay? You see what we're doing? Okay, so let's try one more thing. This is one that a student told me, okay? I didn't even think of this one, but a student did. Well, this is also like, what does it look like? Um, he said that a penguin has two legs. Does a zebra have two legs? No, it has four, right? A porcupine has four legs, and a piano has four legs. Even though it's not alive, it has four legs. So penguin doesn't belong because it doesn't have four legs, okay? You can also, I told you, you can think about the way the word is spelled. You can think about what the word means and like what it looks like and stuff. And the third thing is you can think about how the word sounds. Okay? Like sometimes that means rhyming. Sometimes that means number of syllables. Like you can tap that out. So penguin, zebra, piano, porcupine. They don't rhyme. And penguin, let's tap that out. Penguin. Two syllables, zebra, zebra, two syllables, piano, piano, three syllables, porcupine, 
porcupine, three syllables. Okay, so that doesn't work with these words, but it could work with other words. So if you're playing which one doesn't belong, you can use these three strategies to figure out which word doesn't belong. You can think about the way the word is spelled. You can think about what the word means, or you can think about how the word sounds. And that can help you to figure out which one doesn't belong. Why don't you try that with some words, and I'll see you next time.